Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Cars and Crosby. I've only had one coffee today, but it's, it feels like I've had seven because of the level of excitement that I have after watching Rick Conti's video. There's a Corvette that Rick Conti has captured on film. It seems like it's a new product because there's an engine noise that's coming from it that I have not heard from a GM and I am just ear to ear excited. This is this is a very cool day for me, you know, to be able to see um, a new product that's coming. But I don't normally talk a lot about uh, future content. You know, there's enough fun things to be talking about, like this bad boy over here that we're going to be delivering, uh, that I don't really need to worry about that. You know, we're kind of like in high school when we rumor about this kind of stuff. You don't know if it's true or not. And GM kind of treats us like mushrooms, where they leave us in the dark with stuff and expect us to grow. So I don't always. Um, bite on rumors and news but when you have video and that sound track that part is part of that video I can't keep it in I've got to be able to let the world know that I am just so excited about what I saw on Rick's video there is uh, a pretty amazing vehicle that is coming through the pipes and I'm very excited to learn more about this when the times appropriate when GM says that it's ready to go obviously um, from the looks of that video, it, it, it looks like it's from Milford Proving Grounds. I'm gonna include that video. Rick was nice enough to pass it along to me. I'm gonna include that video in mine so you can you can watch for yourself. But Milford Proving Grounds is about two and a half, three hours away from where I am. So I'm assuming that the conditions are very similar. It looked like the trees were budding around the same time as, uh, as they are right now. So um, you guys can even see, it match the trees <laughs> to the video that you're about to watch. It looks to me like that was done at Milford. Uh, and it looks like it was right now when it happened, just based on the foliage that was around there. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave it to you guys to get some comments about what you think of it, but I am I'm just ecstatic. Now, if that wasn't good enough news, I also have some really amazing news to talk about with production. There's a big, big bombshell news story that I'm gonna be passing along right now to you guys. If the Z06 wasn't enough, if you're on the list and you're waiting for a 21 model year, I have some really exciting stuff to talk about, but I wanna go over this first. I know that's a tease, but um, this is a really, really amazing build and I wanna showcase it for you guys. This is a delivery day. The beautiful Corvette gods have blessed us with a sunny day up here in Canada. And uh, well, just feast for your eyes, guys. Look at this. We got a 3LT convertible Z51. It's sitting on some Vossens that are in a 21 in the back and 20 in the front i'm happy to report that the rear tires for the vossens or sorry for the the michelins um they're back in stock they're going to be here in about a week so i'm, I'm safe to say that they're going to be here in time uh, so if you have a set of vossens on order with me or you're looking at getting a set i can get you some tires now um, throw a wrench into it the vossens now are hard to get um, the front ones in particular are hard so these are the hf5s with a machine face We've gone with a billet center cap in the dark red here to match the paint. We also have our edge red caliper on there, and then we've also got a Voss and valve stem cap on it. The um, the rims are becoming difficult to get, and I do have some in stock. So if you're looking at getting ones as soon as possible, the HF3s in the black are readily available. I have them here. Um, if you're looking at order ordering a set, that's fine. I think that you should always get what you feel is best. Don't make a sacrifice just to get them a few weeks earlier. But if you are interested in the HF3s, they are a bit less money too. They're about um, about a third less than what the HF5s or some of the other ones are, the HF4Ts that we've been doing. And um, it's definitely something that I would consider. Now here on this set, we've also got the Voss and lug nuts. These are 14 by one and a half lug nut. So you can't use the ones that come from GM, but uh, just check it out. Isn't that awesome? We've got carbon flash metallic as the secondary color on this. Get a nice little zoom into the sun shining on this. There's so much metal flake in this color. Um, you know, talking to that consultant that works for the, um, the paint company, I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it used to be called DuPont and they, they kind of spun it off in a different one. Kudos to whoever comments and, and mentions what that company is in the comment section. Um, and then we've got the painted nacelles on here and just, just take a look at that. Isn't that awesome? This is a 3LT interior on here. So we got the GT2 seats. I'm just gonna come around to this side. And we've got red stitching as the accent on the inside to kind of bring the outside to the inside nice and subtly because it's adrenaline red. So too much of it and you won't get the message across. This is, in my opinion, the Goldilocks amount of red that you need. And uh, you got exposed carbon fiber from that interior carbon fiber package in the mode selector, in the door sills, and then also from the, the GT2 seats here. Um, just an amazing build. You got suede on the top there. It's a very nice, clean, consistent build. This is exactly what I kind of 
go for even with my Corvette, you know, it, it's a, it's not as bright of a color, but I go for the same kind of theme. You want it to all kind of make sense. And the more you look at it, the more you start to make connections. Oh, okay, well, there's red in the logo here. That goes pretty well. It's black that accents the nacelles and the mirrors and the spoiler. And, and you got a nice set of shoes on there with some nice accents that are that are accented in red. So it all kind of goes together. This looks like it was almost like a red spice design package like we had on the C7s, but we just made it ourselves. This is the Cars and Crosby and the client's design package. I can't give you the name just because of anti-spam laws in Canada, but uh, pretty amazing package. So um, now on to some really interesting news. There's gonna be a lot of people talking about this. So um, I just had this hot off the press. GM tells us in a consensus every few weeks what we're going to be getting in the future. And with that consensus, not only do they tell us what kind of allocation we're going to be getting, but they're also nice enough to tell us when that is going to happen in production. Now, we were originally told that the production was going to go until mid-June, and then they were going to go into the 22 model year. And um, when we were at the NCM Bash, you know, they showed us some of the numbers that they had, and up to April 1st, they had 19 and change. I think it was 19... 1,300 Corvettes that they had already put into 3,000 status or it had already been delivered. And, you know, a lot of people were already saying that they were going to try to do around 20,000. It was going to be a short production run for 21. And I've been getting a lot of people calling me about that saying, hey, I'm still in 3,000 or hey, I haven't had my order accepted. Do you think that they're going to be accepting any more? I always try to give you guys a realistic expectation. I don't want to tell you guys, oh yeah, you're going to get it. Don't worry about it. That dealership will probably get one. I want to be kind of the devil's advocate because I hate to let people down. I always want to make sure that I can be the hero and pass along good news. Well, I'm going to be the hero today because in this, the allocation for this week, they're planning on producing these on August 9th. So what that tells me is that not only are they willing to accept new orders for 21, but they're going to be building well into July and now into August. So that's really amazing news. If you were sitting on the edge of your seat, wondering if you're gonna get a Corvette, wondering if you're gonna be susceptible to price increases, this is a pretty big deal. Um, I still can't guarantee you that there's not gonna be any price increases because they did that halfway through um, on previous model years. Once your order is accepted, they have your order in the system, you've got your 3000 status or 2000 Woodley would be the, the, the magic number for you. Um, you're good, you've been locked in, but if you haven't had your order accepted yet, there still may be a chance that there's price increases. I don't wanna get into any trouble with GM in saying that you're, you're in the clear. Morgan Crosby said that that was the case. But what I can tell you is that you are gonna be getting a 21 if your Corvette is built on the week of August 9th. So that would be the second week into the month of August that they're still gonna be producing Corvettes. So that's amazing news, especially because I've been getting a lot of calls from all over the world and I love that. I love to be able to get calls from all over the world. I, I think it's amazing to connect uh, with people that have the same common interest and same kind of passion. And I, I'll do anything I can to help you out as long as I'm available. So if I haven't got back to you yet, it's because I'm either doing a delivery, which obviously they take priority because they put their deposit down. We checked on it. This this folk, this gentleman put his deposit down almost a year ago. So um, I guess that gives you an idea of how long it takes for me to get through my list as of right now. It's it's quite long. We have we have over a hundred people that have that have purchased or have a Corvette on order. And um, yeah. I, I'm just ear to ear. There's so many good things to talk about. It's a beautiful day and uh, we've got a Corvette going out. We've got a, a, a new Corvette model that's coming through the pipes that sounds pretty awesome. And if you're waiting for your Corvette and you're wondering if you're gonna get a 21 or a 22, I think I may have been able to help you out a little bit more in knowing and maybe you can get a little bit more sleep at night because uh, I know how it feels. It's one of the main reasons why I started this channel up because I've been in your shoes before and I know how it feels to be kind of left in the dark. You know, not all dealerships have a guy that's committed like I am to be listening to spy footage uh, and, and uh, to be researching and waiting for the email to come out right away then upload a video to tell the world uh, about the great news. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any comments about the video that I'm going to share with you from Rick Conti, please let us know. If you like this build and you want to uh, make a comment about it, if you have a question about it, let me know. And if you have any questions about allocation, uh, give me a shout as well. I'll have my email listed in the description below and stay tuned for more. Hit that like and subscribe button and that bell notification will tell you when I have more exciting news coming through the pipes. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring.